Let us recap on what we've learned about intervisibility. Let's look at a topographic map of PAR. We're going to mark in four areas. We're going to draw a cross-section from spot at 544 to the school. And we want to see if you stood at the school, would you be able to see those two mountains marked by Trig Beacon 162 and 348. Now let's look at the cross-section because a cross-section is very good at helping you to see intervisibility. So if you stood at the school, you'd be able to see the mountain marked by Trig Beacon 348. And so that's quite visible. But now, would you be able to see Trig Beacon 162, that mountain there? No, it won't, because Trig Beacon 348 is blocking your view. And so can you see, while the one is taller, you cannot see it. Now look at the side view here. Here you can see from the street, the mountain is blocking the view. You cannot see behind that mountain. But what if you stood on top of the mountain there where Trig Beacon 162 is? When you look down towards the school, even though Trig Beacon 348 is lower, it's blocking your view. And so therefore you see it's not intervisible as we can see from the Google image. So there you see what intervisibility means. Sometimes a point can be higher, but it can still block your view as we see here in the image. And so therefore you cannot see the school. And so that is what we mean by intervisibility. And the best way to look at intervisibility is to draw a cross section and then draw the lines. And in this way then we are able to understand what intervisibility is.